A brand new series makes its debut on Amazon Prime today. It's described as a soapy, delicious, psycho, sexy comedy. Two of the stars join me now, Katherine Hahn and Kevin Bacon. Good morning to both of you. Hi, Good morning. thanks How you for doing? having us. You are so We're going to say it since you can't. The name of this show is I Love Dick. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the name saying of the show it for is me. I Love Dick. It's a Same salacious it title, mm -hmm. but the plot mm -hmm. gets a little bit deeper. It's kind of a messy love triangle. What's, what's the story behind the show? For sure. It's based on uh, a book by this woman named Chris Krauss um, that's loosely taken. That's the source material, which um, was kind of heralded as like a, a feminist kind of cult classic from the 90s. It's kind of been passed on from generation of women to young women to... and. Um, uh, so it is underneath this salacious title, there is really like a kind of awesome, beating feminist heart of a woman finding her own voice and um, as an artist and as a person without apology or shame. Um, and it's kind of manifests itself in this kind of really delicious love triangle between um, myself, my husband played by Griffin Dunn, and um, Dick played by Kevin Bacon. Uh, what attracted who becomes the, ob the object of her obsession and then much, much more. What attracted to each of you to the characters that you play in the show? Uh, I read the pilot and I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Um, I thought it was really unusual and not like anything I had I'd read before or seen on television. Um, Jill Soloway was attached, uh, who uh, had created Transparent. And Transparent was a fantastic show. I loved it and, and, and was kind of put Amazon on the map in a lot of ways. And I knew Catherine's work, and I thought this is the perfect person to, to play this uh, crazy part because it's going to need somebody that has 100% um, commitment and a great uh, sense of uh, comedy, but also a, you know, a deep emotional well. And, and I, you know, it was, an easy, uh, it was an easy yes for me. And Catherine, what did you like about yeah. Chris? Oh, for me too. I mean, I had... I, you know, uh, it, it was just in the reading of, of somebody, of a woman that was that messy and complicated and flawed and contradictory and maddening and um, vulnerable and hilarious and all the things that it was like as an actor that was like the chewiest, juiciest part I could possibly, possibly think of. And also having been in Soloway's world a couple times before we did um, a, her first feature, Afternoon Delight and then Transparent, I knew what I was getting into work-wise, and there's um, really, you know, it feels like my creative home at this point. So there was, same with me, it was an easy, it was no question. You mentioned Jill Soloway, of course, she's behind the project, and then this entire series is written by women. That's unusual in yeah. Hollywood. What's the impact on the show? Apparently it's the first time that there's, a, I mean, and honestly, like as Sarah, uh, the, our the woman who wrote the pilot, our producer Sarah Gubbins, had said, he's like, turns out it was a lot easy, it was an easy thing to do. She just, you know, hired the most, the right people for it. And it was fantastic that they're all women and it made for a really rich, rich, open, empathetic vibe. And, as Kevin would, will say. You know, I mean, the first reaction you might have as a, as a guy is, uh, well, well, wait a second, how, how are you going to write the yeah. guys' parts? But of course, you, you have to keep in mind that men have been writing women's parts for since since the beginning, you yeah. know, since Shakespeare, you know, bef and before. Uh, and, and, and this is a, this is a, uh, a part that is complex and, and, you know, the show's called I Love Dick and, and, and what you what you see in the, in the writing is that there, even though he's kind of a jerk in the, in the first pilot, there is a lot of love for this guy. It's like, it, it's not written from a point of view of I hate Dick. It's, mm -mm. It really is, there's a lot of love there mm -hmm. and I, I, I thought it was a fantastic role. Well, I've read a lot about it. It sounds fantastic, intriguing. Uh, you have a couple of other projects coming out. Catherine will look for you in a sequel to Bad Moms. And Kevin, uh, in your wife's uh, directorial debut, can you give us a quick word on that project before we let you go? Yeah, story of a girl. It's uh, Kira's, uh, uh, the first part that she's, uh, the first thing she's ever directed. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get a part in it. And uh, <laughs> casting couch. Casting couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank God there's still a couch there. And um, uh, my daughter, Sosie, is in it, and my son wrote the music, so it's just rampant nepotism in that project. But uh, she did an amazing job. Well, fantastic work all over the place. We can't wait to see the show that I'm not going to say the name of starting today on Amazon Prime. Kevin and Kat, thanks Dick. so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, you. We'll send it over to Mike.